Hi, my name is Chris Boss. I'm a freelance construction consultant. I'm here today to talk about the basic tools that you need as a carpenter. These are the ones that you need to lug around in your kit every day. Some of them go without saying. Obviously, a tape measure. Nice 30 foot one, 25 foot, excellent. Secondly, pencils. Whether you want to use a regular pencil or carpenter's pencil, that's kind of up to you. A hammer. Everybody needs a hammer. You're going to find use for it over and over and over. A screwdriver. I like to keep one of these that's adjustable that has about six or eight different tips so you can flip it around instead of having to carry six or eight different screwdrivers. A clamp of some sort. Whether it's a spring clamp, regular old C clamp, or these come in really handy, quick clamps. When you have to do something and you're the only person there, you need someone to hold it, this will be your best friend. A mat knife. Everybody needs a mat knife. I particularly like this one because it has a hard case that mounts right on my belt so I can keep it open instead of having to constantly open and close the blade. Chisel. Everybody needs a chisel. You should have wood chisels and you should have some old wood chisels or beater chisels as we like to call them for things where you're not where, you, where the tip does not matter where you've just got to get in there and pry something loose or chip something out and it's not about fine detail a level it's good to have a 12 inch in your kit and at least a three foot level four foot is good three foot is the minimum you should also have a sheetrock saw some way to cut this kind of wallboard, gyp uh, rock wallboard. You also want to have a screw gun. There are many different kinds out there. The new ones, this is an older one. It's a lot heavier than the newer one. They're both 18 volts. The newer one, however, comes with a light attached so you can see what you're doing in dark spaces. Knee pads. Knee pads are a must. If you're not on a ladder, chances are you're on the floor working on floorboards, working on baseboards, something where you're on your knees. Doing that all day will kill your knees. A caulk gun is good. You're going to have to use it to, uh, for adhesive, for construction adhesive. You may also be required to caulk after your work was done, depending on what level, uh, how close you are to a finished carpenter. Just a standard putty knife. It's great for scraping things up. It's great for putting compound. It, million and one uses. You definitely want to have one of those. Other than that, that's about all you need to really get started as a carpenter. And remember, one other thing. Get your safety glasses. Work safe. Thanks for watching. My name's Chris Boss.